All right, guys, we are set up. One bait out so far. Dominic is getting his bait ready. Gonna kayak it out. Just to the middle of that, that channel there. Got this one on the Acura Fury. Got the boat anchored up over here. We've never had a boat here before, but uh, it's making everything much easier. We don't have to go very far. We're just going from that bridge back there. And uh, we got it anchored up over here so it's out of the way in case any sharks or tarpon or whatever try to tangle us up. So it's probably not going to be long. Get that very, oh, there we go. That's it. I think. Yeah, look at that tip. Look at that tip bounce. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, um, do you want to hook that up? And go out while oh. you're can... No, no, do you want to just, just video? Uh, oh, I need to get this out of here. Okay. Uh, yeah, do what you need to do. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Is it on? Camera on. It is recording already. Oh. We are hooked up. <laughs> this is a left hand and accurate that I usually don't usually use. He's getting up on the oh, yeah. ladder. He's on, he's on, he's on. That was the speaker. Oh, okay. Man. <laughs> Big one. We weren't ready for this. We were not ready. We, we were not ready. Down. That's why this, this <laughs> footage is a little shaky. I've got him up there. we got bait. I'm ready to go out. <laughs> How many didn't even, even have time to put a second bait on. haven't even put sunscreen on. Turn this sucker off. There we go. Woo! I can't got, even do the intro. I've got bait hanging all over my, my ladder. You can tie that to mine if you need to. Uh, I think that was worth I think we need to have it free or just easily detachable all right so y'all see all put away there <laughs> sorta we're a little more overpacked than usual but better to have more stuff than less stuff that boat cut it close going over my line but we're good he's moving nice and slow very strong so i think it's a bull shark some head shakes there this took all about 30 seconds <laughs> Folks, I am on the 10 foot ladder. He is on the kid's ladder with his <laughs> feet ladder. in the water. So we used to put wood on the bottom of the legs for more stability, but it ended up not actually being more stable. And when you get off the ladder, then they, the legs try to float to the surface and then it gets un, unstable. So it ended up being better just to stick the legs in the sand and so it doesn't wobble as much. But the downside is you lose about a foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the eight foot ladder has turned into a seven foot ladder. But we can still see, and we're still out of shark range. Or sharks biting our foot feet range. Mm, I know, I've had some sharks <laughs> touch the back of my feet a few times. What I need is some foam pads in the front of the steps. Yeah, we used to be a little more better prepared. <laughs> Fun. I think yesterday we were like, oh, well, should we go tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> After we just got back from, we may got a switch here in a second. The goat tournament, which was awesome. Shout out Derek. Shout out to Derek. The fish coming up on the flat. This might be interesting. I don't see them, but we should see them. Those pole sharks are. All right, we might have to switch. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, he's turning around. He's going back out. Didn't like the shallows. He did not. All right, he's still taking line. Well, we we caught it. We got him kind of close, right on the edge of the edge of the flat here. But we didn't get a good look at him, and uh, he is taking the braid. But man, look how smooth that drag is! Just perfect. This is a brand new Acura that I uh, uh, I'm going to bring down to Los Buzos, but it's a left-handed. I'm not usually I'm not used to using left-handed reels. This is like one of my uh, probably my first time actually with a reel this big left-handed, but it's cool. It works. Start cranking. Yeah, well, he can't. He's taking line. Better tighten the head. All right, we got boats incoming from all directions. We just had a very close call with one because he was way. This is a shark. I think it's a shark. Was way out there. I'm getting tired. I need some new forearms. All right, that guy. That guy's a good guy. He's a real guy right, right there. He's coming in now. God dang. Not used to using that left hand. No. 
Uh, I think it's still gonna be a while, but now we got jet skis all over the place. I'm less worried about jet skis. Yeah. I'm worried about them crashing into the ladders more than them <laughs> getting tangled with the line. I think it's a hammer. It might be our first hammer yet. He's came up. Look at him. Look, look, you can see his fin just under the surface out there. He's out there a ways. Bro, I think this is it. We're about 30 minutes into this, and he's not wanting to come over here. Maybe, maybe not. All I, uh, maybe it's just a big bull. I can't tell. I saw, I saw a fin, though. It got me excited. Oh my god, am I. Look at. Oh! Oh. That's a big shark. He's so close to that piling, I gotta keep him away. Um, I see a lot of tore up sand right there. He's close, he's close, he's close. Right here, I can't see him though. Around the ledge. I think this is our biggest shark yet. Oh yeah, and yeah, we've caught some pretty big bull sharks out here. Look, we are on, we're on full. Full drag. Some this can crank down more, but I didn't, I didn't want it to be any tighter. <laughs> no way, it's taking all the line again. I think this, uh, this must be a hammerhead. He, this thing is very stubborn. He does not want to come across into the shallows. Oh, kind of feels like it's rubbing on something down there, which I do not like at all. Ooh. Ooh, I think it just came undone from whatever it was stuck on. Gaining. He's got to be getting tired. At this for a while now. All right, you see him? He's moving. Uh, he's moving left, moving into the shallows, close to closer to our turf. To the. Uh, oh, see oh, is that him? That's the zone. I thought I saw darkness. God, he ain't done. He might be hitting it with his tail. That might be what it is. How long is your leader? Or he might. I think he might have it wrapped on something. Ooh, boat. Yeah, he's closer than that. That's what Gilligan's look like, folks. Whole boat of them. I think that's him. I see darkness right there. God, it's heavy. I think it's time to go up a step. Up a step. The jet skiers look concerned. As they should be. Into shallow water. All right, he's right. He's right on the edge. Right on the edge. We should see him. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There he is. There he is. Hammer. There's two. There's one behind him. Right? Can we hook them both up. There's definitely two of something. Look at that. I don't know what that is, but this. That is a hammerhead. <laughs> so why we come well, here? Well, it's probably a good thing we didn't have two baits out. There he is. He's still We would have had a double hookup, which we've done here many times before. Oh. We're getting that sucker. <laughs> oh. Oh, here he comes. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Finally, we've put Stingray down here. We've done it all, I'll try to get a hammer. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I thought he was gonna be bigger, but that's still not a small hammerhead. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh God, this is not good. Get that rod. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. We're okay as long as you can pick your rod up on the bait. Uh, which I really can't because it's loaded with bait. Okay, I'm he's coming back. He's saying he's coming back. Man, he's not giving 
up. Wow, they're so cool, look at them. Roll over his head. No, no, I was wrapped over. Yeah, it was. So I, I think that that's what with that weird feeling. Yeah. Moving back and forth, and I feel like something. Oh boy, he's coming right for me. <laughs> Maybe a boat will cut it. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm gonna get some stills. All right, there he goes. Check him out. Man. <laughs> that was crazy. Excellent, that's why it's good to have a good flare pliers. <laughs> we almost lost both ladders, both, Woo. all of our feet. Man, that was awesome. Well, we First got our, head in the ladders. We got our tackle back. <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys, we are putting out the bloodstream. We just had another hit, lost the bait, so uh, we have a little bit of a little chance here. Uh, a lot of times we don't like putting this stuff out because it it uh, brings a lot of sharks in. It brings them to the water. <laughs> and we're already catching sharks, but it also brings cobias and all kinds of other stuff around too. We've had mutton swimming around us. We've had barracudas come up, and uh, so we're gonna see if we can get some fish too. So. Dominic's gonna mix it together. This stuff, we've, I've had it in storage for over two years. Um, and that's what's awesome about this stuff. You can just dry storage it, and it's always ready to go. Uh, so he's gonna mix up the chum cloud, pour it in, that, pour it in the dry mix, and uh, we're gonna put it out. I got a little secret weapon here too. I got the, the uh, oh, it's backwards. I got the Menhaden oil too. Stuff always works. That also is two years old. So, and it comes with a chum bag, which helps a lot. Very helpful. So we're gonna mix that up, and we're gonna tie it to the ladder, and we're gonna have a blood trail going down current, hopefully right over our baits. And it is guaranteed to work. I'll pour a little of this in. Oh yeah, you love Some, Oh, you lost your fruit roll up? Oh, lost the snacks. Incoming. Oh, there's a shark right there. Oh, yeah. That is a nurse, nurse shark. It's a nurse or a lemon? It's a nurse. I think it's a Dark. nurse. All right. It's that copper color. Ooh. Pour a little extra of that oil, that good, good there. Oh, that's Ooh. A lot. That's a lot. Yeah, well, we got, lots, in we got lots stuff. to work with. Ooh. Every time we put this out, we're Every, in the danger zone. Oh, we got a shark over Dominic's shoulder here. <laughs> He's going away, you're good. <laughs> so man, we got a place to go. We got the ladder. If you haven't noticed, this is a bit of a sharky spot. Oh, well, I'm glad that nurse shark is not at our baits. Me too. <laughs> Soak for a minute. Yeah, so that stuff, once you mix it up a little bit, uh, you mix all that oil and all that all that pre-mix in there, get it all tough, you can kind of form it into a ball, 
and then you pour it into the into the chum bag. So it's kind of just like a hard, oily ball, and it, play, it plops right up into the chum bag, and it'll last for hours and hours. And it's filled with oil, filled with all kinds of, of blood, especially for the sharks, and it is excellent. So um, I'm a little nervous because sometimes it works too well. And whenever we come out of here at night, we don't even we don't even put it we in. Not put it down at night. <laughs> we keep talking about that we're going to, but we do not. Um, I don't know if we're going to stay till night tonight, but uh, we will we will see. We've already caught a hammerhead. So um, next on the list is tarpon and bull shark. Maybe some maybe some bycatch like some cobias and mutton snapper would be the ultimate goal. So we'll see. It's as simple as that. Get a little shake in the water there, see what oh, it looks like. That's a little close. But... Ooh. All that dried, dried blood. It's a little, little dried, huh? Okay, there it goes. Oh, it'll go. There okay, it goes. See the blood? Look at that. Go away from me. All right. <laughs> We're at slack tide here at the moment, so. Yeah, so it's just kind of going to get infused it's, into our it's, clothes. It's just going to go right out. <laughs> Be smelling like blood. All right, so all you gotta do right now is just tie it to a tie it to a ladder. We gotta find a rope, so we'll do that in a short in a minute. But um, that is gonna bring him in. All right, guys, I am hit. Didn't have time. Dominic's taking the chum back, so we got out of the way, and uh, I am stuck filming with the DSLR. All right, we're gonna see if this can work. I don't know. No, I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. I think it's something small. Oh, no, he came off. All right, well, we're about to put another bait out anyway, so <laughs> we're good. Yeah, we try to go a little bit more uh, offshore. I mean, like straight out from the ladders, because this one this one uh, drifts a little bit, even though there's not that much current. All right, Dominic is putting out one of the baits. We're using mackerel chunks uh, from King Mackerel that we caught when we were in a boat watching over at the goat tournament uh, right off by Navarre. And uh, we are putting our first bait out with the new, brand new Daiwa BGMQ, which we've been testing out over the past few weeks, which is awesome. Um, we already caught Goliath groupers, caught some big black tips from the beach, um, all kinds of big fish so far, and uh, whatever's going to eat this is going to be big too, so we'll see. So what we do here, we just click it over, R uh, ladder already has a spot for it, rod holder there, and we're going to put it in light drag. So whenever it hits, line comes out, and you know there's a fish. Tighten up a little bit here. Perfect. Alright guys, so I, the bloodstream's been out for maybe 10 minutes and I just kind of like shook the bag a little bit to get the extra to get that extra smell out. Yeah, made a nice uh, made a nice spot. Oh. Yours is yours is okay. Okay, so guys, not uh, giving us much room there, but uh, so I just gave the, the chum bag a little shake, get a little extra smell going, and I just hopped back up on the ladder, I look over the, over the ledge right there, and there was like an eight foot bull shark. He had just swam up, halfway up to the ladder, and he went back out, so. Look at the, look at the good coming my, out. My GoPro died, so I couldn't, I wasn't able to get him on video, but he'll probably come back. Didn't take long, just right away, he smelled it. But uh, our baits are out there, so he should be, should be smelling those too. Don't wanna step on that. What? Stingray. 
this game brings them in every time. <laughs> or last time we had kudos, we had everything. Oh, here they come, here they come, here they come. Guys, we got tarpon inbound. Just gave that bloodstream bag a little shake. And here we go. Look at those beauties. Big tarpon. We may have to throw a chunk of floor up. No motor, no noise. Some smelly chum. And the tarpon just come in. That's all there is to it. <laughs> that weed has some integrity. So we got weed moving in, and as you can see, it is catching the lines. So this happens a lot, so we just have to change locations. And we're just going to move back side of this island over here. It's got sort of like a delta. All the water goes around it, all the current goes around it, and there's a little bit of a low current area um, on the back side of the island. So a lot of tarpon like to hang out there. So this is generally our shark spot here. We move over there for tarpon, even though we've already seen tarpon here. So we're gonna pack it up and we're gonna move. All right guys, our uh, tarpon spot is not disappointing. Uh, we, we've, we haven't even been able to set up correctly. We keep getting one bait out and it goes off uh, before we can get it set up and get all of our camera gear and everything ready. Uh, so far we've jumped two good sized tarpon. They both came off pretty quickly because uh, we weren't there to even be on the rod to, <laughs> just, <laughs> just to set line. the hook. So now we're ready. We got three lines out. Seems to be a bit of a lull, but uh, we just got ready about a minute ago. So anytime now, we're going to get hooked up. So I think Dennis has arrived. Uh, he, we should be seeing him any minute now. And uh, we had some ballyhoo show up in the chum slick, so Dominic's rigging up a little hook, a little piece of mackerel, and we're gonna see if we can get some ballyhoo. They still there? Right over there. Ooh, oh! Ooh, they want it too. Oh, yeah, that hook might be a little bit big, but they want it. A couple big ones. Yeah, they might even just go after the hook if you move it around. Yeah, it's an empty hook, huh? Yeah. They like the better with food on it. <laughs> got him on, got him on. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's one of those, it's like a butterfish. Oh no, it's a, it's a leather jacket. That's a really good bait. Got him on. No, he's there, he's there. He's going straight towards you. We got something. <laughs> Real. Googan, it's a fair good. <laughs> Too old. One hand crank. Oh, and it's gone. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, oh, any more? Any more donations? Citizen of Jazz there. What do we have here? Here he comes. Oh no, he's got his foot pedals. Oh, does he? Yeah, I thought he I thought he'd have his I thought he'd have his motor. I don't see a ladder. Alright, well then he's gonna be a cameraman. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> there you, go. you catching crabs over there? I caught three crabs. <laughs> Blue crabs? I don't know. Just <laughs> <laughs> crabs, the human kind. <laughs> Did you see him jump? Yeah. God, God damn. damn. Bigger hooks. Felt like it broke. It might have. 
Got him on. Woo! All right, that's you, Dom. Oh! oh. Shut off. That was a shark. Had to be. Whatever. They got sharky. You got some drag on this thing. Yeah, I do. <laughs> There's not much line, so. <laughs> Uh, There's not much line, you gotta oh, put something on it. We almost hit it. I'm gonna need a hook. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to run out of line. Yeah, I'm gonna need a hook. I was like scouring the keys because I knew there was tons of sharks in the keys. Because we originally came down here to do, to just catch a bunch of sharks for a shark tournament. Yep. That's on steel? Uh, this is... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's a bad on camera guy. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> it, he's not very big. Going in pretty easy. Oh, oh, waking, oh, up, oh waking up, waking up. Waking up, waking up. Head shakes. That looks oh, like a tarpon. That looks like a tarpon. Come on, baby. That looks like a tarpon. Jump! Is it a tarpon? Jump! It looks like me. a tarpon. Maybe not. I don't know. It's not. Head shakes? Maybe like a, a tarpon that hasn't woken up yet? I hope so. And it's going, is it going under this? He's going, yeah, he's going under. Under? But it's under. It's close. Camera's safe in the seat. <laughs> yeah, I'll move up. Butts to nuts. <laughs> Butts to nuts. <laughs> hey, fight him forward. Not oh, he's right here. Right here. What it's a nurse. It? Ladder leaning. <laughs> you have to like get down there with them. Pull uh, to the right. Leave us alone. Tell your friends. Must have hit his gill plate or something. So so far we've had big bull sharks roll through. Yeah, it's like stingrays it's like constantly. Uh, we just lost a second tarpon since I got here, right? Massive tarpon too. Yep, yep. First one was massive. This one, I don't know. It was big. Big. This one, was two big, big massive tarpon. Big. And... Yeah, we still got what? Empty handed. Two lines out. Alright, except for a hammer. Not so bad. Um, oh, I have my... Great sunset though.